3 Golden Eagles for War Thunder. Link in the description. Hello you sexy beasts, and welcome to War Thunder in a nutshell. Ever since the Meteor Mark III has been down tier to 7.0, you guys have been asking me the same question over and over again. Is it OP? And between my 66% win rate and my 3 kills per death ratio, you would be forgiven to think that it is. But you are wrong. It is obvious that your average sorry excuse for a pilot doesn't actually know how to deal with one of these bastards. As is clearly shown by beer cans trying to race you in a straight line and MiG 9s trying to dogfight you with the Soviet bathtubs. But do not worry, my friend. I'm here to make it all better. The meteor looks like the result of a steamy night in a seedy motel involving a Spitfire and a mosquito. In terms of raw performance, it feels a lot like a Wyvern, having the exact same armament and similar speeds. Of course, the meteor can actually turn and doesn't lose its will to move like a fat man walking up a hill. You get four Hispano Mark V cannons mounted in the nose, which solves the god awful convergence problems of the earlier props. And that being said, the stock guns have a tendency to spray their load all over the place in less than 5 seconds, forcing you to either get very close or fire very short bursts. The massive wing and control surface area give it an insane amount of lift that results in a pretty low budget standard stall speed and turning radius. The two engines pull enough to maintain your speed pretty well in sharp turns. However, once you go below 400 km per hour, your turn time shoots up to the moon. As a rule of thumb, you absolutely definitely don't want to get into prolonged turn fights with Hortons, F8Fs, Soviet props, Chris Evans and Yak-15s. Of course, having such a big wing and tail area makes you a huge target too. Thankfully, the fuel tanks are mounted in the fuselage, and the side profile is quite slim. You can even use one of the engines to block shots going for the fuel tanks. Speaking of engines, these beauties have saved my life more than once. Since they are mounted so far apart, you rarely get both of them shot out at the same time. Of course, you aren't really combat effective on just one engine, but you can easily make it back to base at a steady 40 km per hour. Do remember to cut the throttle on your landing approach though, or you'll flip over like a pancake. Despite having two engines, acceleration and climb rate are mediocre, not to mention the pretty terrible top speed for a jet. Not only that, you'll also have problems trying to dive after or away from pretty much anything. You'll rip your wings at around 800 to 850 km per hour, or if you WASD too hard, uh, approaching 700 km per hour. Roll rate is another weakness of the Meteor. With so much mass so far away from the center, you can expect this thing to roll about as well as a square wheel. As such, try to avoid rolling scissors as much as possible. Alright, let's talk teams. Ah, oh, clear skies, nice cup of tea, what could possibly ruin such a splendid day? Nada. Oh no, not like this. God save us all. Now, things might have changed since I was playing this beast, but holy heck was everyone and their mother spamming it after the patch. Not only that, they also all herded together like the Russians in Kuban. That can be a good thing or a bad thing, of course, as the average war from the player has the IQ of... well, you know what I'm talking about. I might have been killed more often by teammates shooting through me or crashing into me as they all funneled in on one single enemy than have actually been shot down by said enemy. The Meteor is an aircraft more than capable of handling two enemies at once uh, by itself, thanks to its quick reactions and tight turns. So I should try to avoid bunching up in groups of more than three friendlies. Not happy yet? Then listen up you scrub, here's a summary.
The Meteor Mark 3 turns very well, has great energy retention in turns and great close range guns. The drawbacks are its sustained top speed, slow roll rate and inaccuracy of the guns at range if you don't burst them enough. And the enemy pilots, listen up too, cause I'm about to drop some knowledge on you. You wanna know how to fight this thing? Then take a notepad and write this down. You beer can pilots are the most dangerous thing the meteor has to face, funnily enough. Your turning and rolling ability coupled with your uh, insane dive capabilities and great climb rates means that you, all you really need to do is keep an altitude advantage and dive on them. Or turn fight them if you don't have that luxury. If one's behind you, don't just fly in a straight line. Do some rolling scissors and force them to overshoot. Remember, the slower you force them to go, the worse they'll turn and accelerate. The P-80, F-80 and F-84 pilots, along with the MiG-9s and M-262 pilots, have a different playstyle to adopt. In your cases, you need to exploit the meteor's lack of speed. Energy fighting or boom and zooming is the key here, as they just won't be able to catch you. Especially the M-262 can go over 1000 kmh in a dive, territory at which the meteors will have long broken their wings. You Horton pilots are in a special position. You both turn better and seem to have higher top speed than the Meteor, so you can do a bit of both. Do keep in mind that the Meteor can do a full pull above 500 kilometers per hour, which you can't do without breaking your wings. Another thing you can't do is follow them in rolling scissors. I know I said that the Meteor's roll rate wasn't good, but in comparison to you, they roll like a fat man down a hill. As for the Japanese, I really don't know what to suggest to you. Matches against them are few and far between, and I've been wrecked in, in every single one of them anyway, so just keep doing what you're doing, I guess. Finally, some upgrade path recommendations for all you stock flyers out there. The first thing you need to get under control is the guns, so I suggest researching the ammo belts and the new guns first. After that, focus on the engines to get better acceleration and sustained speed. The airframe and cover mod should be your last priority. You already are one of the most maneuverable aircraft on the battlefield. It already is your strength. Don't waste time investing into this aspect if you have better things to go for. And this was the Meteor Mark III in a nutshell. Wanna see more of this? Then leave a like and suggest a vehicle in the comment section down below. Be it tank or aircraft. Alright lads, that's me done for today. I'll see you in the next one. My name's Boom Mark is Boom. Thanks for watching. You can lift your head up to the sky Take a deeper breath and give it time You can walk the path among the lines With your shattered frame of mind Or is that you could always stay We can wait right here and play Until somehow you can find A slightly better frame of mind